It's been two weeks now since the U of M football team claimed the national championship. And the celebration, a significant moment, of course, for everyone here in Michigan, especially for one member of the team. As our Kim DiGiulio shows us, this is bigger than football. Jack McKinnon was born to be an athlete. His mom, Kelly, says she knew that immediately. He started rolling over at four weeks old and pediatricians were like, no, no, that must have been like an accident. He must have been on an angle and did it. And like, no, he could roll over at four weeks old. He started playing football at the age of seven in Florida, where he grew up, eventually getting an offer to play for the University of Michigan, becoming an outside linebacker for Team 144 the 2023 national champions. Uh, it's surreal, it's awesome. I mean, everything I could have ever dreamed of. But it all could have gone differently. When Jack was just a toddler, he nearly drowned. He was 18 months old, I had a four week old, and um, you know, so the house is an absolute cluster of chaos. All of a sudden the baby's crying, I went to change his diaper, I yelled at my husband to go grab the wipes from the master bedroom, because nothing seems to be in the same place. And he brought them in and he like watched me while I was changing the baby for a second. And then he walked back out and then I hear him screaming my name and he's like, and I heard water splashing. Jack had fallen into their pool. I ran out and he was carrying Jack in and Jack was blue. He's limp, not breathing. Um, and my husband's like, call 911. And I said, nope, I have to get my baby breathing. So I'm like, all right, uh, pinch the nose, tilt the head back. I mean, I'm sure I did CPR wrong. But, you know, they say wrong CPR is better than no CPR. I ended up surviving. They said I was like seconds away from not being like being brain dead. Jack was too young to remember any of it. But from hearing the story, he's thankful to be here today. When you think about like experiences like that, um, do, you, do you have like a, a greater sense of like, you know, I, I am supposed to be here. I am supposed to do yeah, something. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, no doubt. I mean, I'm here for a reason. I know that now. Mm -hmm. I just got to figure out what I'm here for. And for right now, he's finding his purpose on the football field, getting to experience the ultimate college football dream of becoming a national champion. I was watching him take pictures on the field, and I'm like, this moment almost didn't happen, right? Like, you know, the doctor said we were about seven seconds, like his stomach had fully filled and his lungs were starting to fill. And they said seven more seconds, and we wouldn't have gotten him back. I'm Kim DiGiulio. Local four. Boy, as a parent, mm -hmm. you can just understand how she knows every second from oh, what happened yeah. that to every detail of that. Yeah. Wow. Leading to that rescue. But Great certainly story. glad that she knew CPR. Again, yeah. we always stress the, C the yeah. importance of that. Absolutely. We yeah. talk about that all it's the time. Another reminder of why you should yeah. make sure you're trained and every member of your family is too.